Now let's talk about something called the fill handle. So the fill handle is this little um, kind of blue square in the bottom right hand corner of any cell. And that's really important for um, functions and patterns and things like that. So let's just illustrate um, sort of the power of it um, pretty quickly. So if I type a one in this cell, and if I click and drag this fill handle, it's gonna copy what I have and then paste it as many times as I drag it. So as long as I drag that, it's gonna fill in that selection with what I have. But if I wanted to count, so say I had a list of things in my spreadsheet and I wanted to number one through 50 to sort of assign a number to each of those, all I have to do is start the pattern a little bit. So now it's not just gonna copy that one. Now if I select both of these, and I can do that by holding down control and clicking into that cell, so I have a continuous selection. Now, because I've sort of assigned a pattern, I can drag that all the way down. And let's say I want 50 numbers. I can drag that all the way down here and it'll just fill in all of that space with that number in the correct order. And it's not just great for numbers. Let's say I wanted to do that same exact thing with days of the week. I could just type in one day. I could just type in Monday and I'm kind of hovering over to get that plus sign, that fill handle in the bottom right hand corner and if I drag that all the way down to sort of that same level, that end of the data, you can see it's filling in the pattern with all the days of the week. But this includes Saturday and Sunday. So say I wanted that same thing, but I only wanted to worry about the weekdays. So what I would do then is again, I would just type in Monday and it's gonna recognize that pattern. And I'm gonna just do that all the way up to until Friday. And then to break the pattern to say, no, I don't wanna do Saturday and I don't wanna do Sunday, I'm gonna hold down shift and then click on Friday to sort of select that whole continuous range. And then I'm gonna say control C if I'm on a Windows computer and I'm gonna click control, oh, I'm sorry, command C if I'm on a Mac computer. And then I'm just gonna to go to the next available cell and do control V or command V to paste that. So now I have sort of two iterations of that pattern and I've broken that cycle that sort of has the weekends included and I just have the weekdays. So now when I select this and I drag that all the way down, I'm going to get my selection without any weekends. So I'm just gonna get Monday through Friday all the way down. Um, same exact things works for dates. So let's say I wanted to do February 1st and I wanted to continue that pattern all the way down. I can just click and drag this all the way down and it's gonna get all the dates um, from February 1st until the end of my selection. And it's really cool because there's even a shortcut for it. So if I, let's say I go back to my number example, I don't always have to click and drag. Clicking and dragging certainly works, but sometimes you might be working with a thousand rows of data and dragging can get pretty cumbersome. So a faster way, if I just double click on this, on this fill handle, it'll fill that data all the way down until it can't find any information to the left. So you can see it, it sort of found that row 51 was the end of the data and then it just stopped that pattern automatically. So a really cool tool, we'll talk about it a lot as we get into some functions, but just a really powerful tool for entering lots and lots of information really quickly. Um, one last thing I wanna show is that it's not just for numbers and days of the weeks and dates. I can really create any pattern. So say I wanted to assign somebody to a task or say I wanted to even maybe alternate, I don't know, the seating of my classroom. I could write, um, you know, genders or anything. I could say boy, girl, and let me remove that uppercase to sort of stagger the seating. And if I double click this, it's gonna pick up that pattern. And it does the same with names. It'll do that with basically any pattern that you define. It'll recognize that and you can either double click it and it'll find the end of your data or you can just drag that fill handle down um, to wherever you'd like it to go, however far you want that data to be copied.